Hi there guys, Comrade here with iSky Soft uh, iPhone Data Recovery for Macintosh. Uh, what I'm going to do here is show you how to save your iPhone messages. So after launching the software, it will default to the Recover from iOS Device panel, and then you just need to click Start to begin the scanning process. And once we get to our completed, here we go. So I just have one text message here. That's all I need. What I'm going to be doing is saving those. I can do that by just clicking on the message or clicking on the uh, checkbox on the left hand side where it shows the, the different types of uh, information on the phone that I can recover. And all I need to do then is just click the recover button. So I'll just wait for this to finish up going through. It will give you a partial uh, set of information while the phone is still scanning. And what I'm going to do, I'll just deselect photos and everything else there that I don't need for this. So let me deselect those. There we go. So just one message is all I need to recover in this case. Uh, click recover. I'm going to choose to recover that to the Mac. And I'm going to save that actually in a folder that I'm just going to create here um, on my desktop. So I'll just click new folder. Create that folder there, Messages, and hit Save. Now, once that's all recovered successfully, it will automatically open the folder that's just created. And as you can see, there's a cascading version of my messages. If I double click on messages.html, it will open them using my default browser and will display them in a nice list using some of the uh, default colors that we do get on the iPhone itself. So it's a great way for your messages to be displayed, um, as we can see here. And I'll just close that for now. There are a couple of other ways that we could uh, recover our uh, messages here using iSkySoft iPhone Data Recovery for Macintosh. What I'm going to do is just recover this from an, uh, an iCloud backup. And much the similar way as before, I can just select the messages and click Recover. I'm also able to do this from an iCloud backup too. I'll just skip the sign-in process there. And once it's connected to the iCloud server, I can just click download on my chosen backup and wait for it to, there we go. So now I can select messages on there if I choose to, which I do, and click recover download. So save those. Okay, and I'll skip through the process as once that is complete, it will take us to the exact same window as we had before. All we need to do is select the messages and hit recover. Thanks very much for watching. Speak to you next time. Bye.